All right, so the AMD Agisa 1007B update brought fast DDR5 speeds to Ryzen 7000. In the past, I've done a number of RAM comparisons, and in most of the games I've tested with the X3Ds, RAM speed, latency, none of it really made a difference. And capacity was really the only factor that made a big difference in games like Tarkov, Modern Warfare, and a number of other titles that I've tested, Rust as well. So I was curious to see if the same followed for Starfield. I was expecting to see the same results, but surprisingly RAM speed does directly affect Starfield's performance, even on an X3D. So I compared three different speeds here. I have on the very left the stock speed at what is it 52 5200 CL40 what is that hold on so the absolute latency for that would be about 15.3 next I have 6000 CL30 absolute latency is 10 nanoseconds there I think this is like the mid-range RAM now that you can find pretty easily and affordably and then on the very right I have 8000 CL36 which comes in at an absolute latency of 9 nanoseconds and you're gonna need SK Hynix A dies to push it to this speed and another thing to note is that it's kinda crazy that I can do this on a $100 B650 when you need an extreme motherboard like a Z790 Apex or a Kingpin for an Intel to get to this speed. So just food for thought, that's pretty crazy. Another reason why AMD is just better for gamers. Overall I didn't really see any stats that stood out besides the CPU temp. For some reason the CPU temp is actually lower on the 8000 configuration than it is on the 6000 configuration. The 5200 configuration has no overclocking, so that was expected, but I didn't expect the 8000 to be running cooler than the 6000 config. Anyways, hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.